Okay, continuing my critical let's play of Modern Warfare 2. Apologies that you're watching a new video now. Um, I already did no Russian and my commentary audio got all jumbled up about halfway through, so I have to do it again. Um, so at the end of the last video, we saw the loading screen before no Russian. Um, Shepard was talking, telling Alan he'll have to lose part of himself or seriously because he's going to have to do something very bad in order to get close to Makarov. But Makarov is a very bad guy and we need to do it, so Alan is going to have to do something terrible. Um, and while he was saying this, you've got this kind of map of the world and this tracking cursor moving over it to these sites of all these different genocides and massacres throughout history and ending up on Moscow um, and kind of zooming in on Moscow is kind of ominous what's going to happen next way. Um, so what is about to happen is you're about to take part in a massacre and it's probably the most graphic level left in modern warfares and probably in any of them um, and that's your warning now if you don't want to watch this episode but um, have a game. So it was a bit of a media hoo-ha before it came out when it was announced this level was going to exist, um, which ultimately ended up in the game putting a option to skip this level entirely on the main menu when you first load up the game um, because it might be disturbing to some viewers kind of thing. Um, but aside that, it's quite central to the stories and what happens from now on for the rest of the modern warfares throughout this game and the next game is all tied into what happens here. Um, so it's really quite important. Um, and there's criticisms to be made of it, to be sure, beyond simply having to take part in a massacre. Uh, and I'll address some of those later in the level. But first I want to talk about the actual, just maybe from the design story elements of the massacre as it under, is undergone. Um, so we'll start with that. So you can hear these zips, bags, being opened. Guns being loaded and put together. And then it says no Russian. Screen's still black, which is quite rare. Uh, we're at Zakayev International Airport, which is interesting for bad guy from the first game. It starts and we see Makarov, the main bad guy for the rest of the games. And he says, no Russian. And it's not particularly clear what he means by that. Uh, we find it late because none of us are meant to speak any Russian on this level. And then a massacre starts. And it's kind of like, you know it's coming. You, you probably read the press before the game came out. You saw it in the media. Even the loading screen suggested it was happening, but to go from black in the elevator to seem a bad guy. At that moment when you walk out before anyone seems to notice, it's just it's really kind of, I'm really going to have to do this kind of moment. I love the kind of metal detectors going off, it's just like a little touch, like, this sounds a horrific part. Or wherever you look here, there's, you know, different horrific things happening, like people surrendering and then getting gunned down anyway, or trying to run out of a bookstore. Um, there's a much more horrific attention to detail in this game, in this level, than on other levels. And it's also one of a few parts where you've seen civilians. There's a lot more blood on this level than other, than previous levels. There's people hiding in different stores. You could walk over that way and get one kind of story. If you walk over this way, you'll get another. So if I tried to shot uh, Makarov now, the others would kill me instantly because that's not the part I'm playing here. Um, which is one of the main criticisms people would have made of these games. This level is that you can't stop the massacre. Um, so I'll talk about it in a moment. I also want to point out that this guy over here shooting down on the next level where you can see everyone running to. Which to me seems far more horrific than anything you actually can see. It's just him just shooting down into a barrel of people. Uh, the police try to stop us but you just have a sense of how powerful we are. We have these massive machine guns. We move slow and you know, you just, we have these bulletproof vests on, like, there's just this kind of un, unstoppable force moving through here. Um, but there's nothing you can do to stop it from happening.
No, it's a power uh, plant pot lady, man. Power pot man. That's 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 awkward. Um, so you're forced to walk through that as well. You can't run. You just have to go through it slowly. You have to see it happen. The game wants you to pay attention to this horrific act that's happening here, and then forces you down into where that man was shooting down into all the people. All the flights, you know, disappear and turn red. So the whole thing is quite horrific, um, quite affronting to a lot of people, obviously. Um, but it serves a purpose to the story of these games, which we'll see soon. So people have a criticism that you should be able to stop it, that it's a terrible level to force a player through a massacre, with a massacre without giving them a chance to stop the massacre. Um, but that kind of criticism, I think, kind of misses the point of what this game is doing, um, which is very much where these, act, where these characters are playing a role in the story and you're just one of the actors. Um, you don't have any say in what the story is, you just follow your stage directions and you do your orders. Um, <clears throat> so to complain that you can't stop the massacre is, I think, to fundamentally fail to understand what kind of game this is and what kind of storytelling it's doing. So now the riot police rock have rocked up to stop us. And we have to battle our way through to escape after committing our terrorist act. Um, so we're attacking a Russian airport and massacring lots of Russians. Um, so what's happening here is essentially a terrorist attack to mobilize the military and essentially start a war. Um, so in a strange way it's actually just kind of the exact kind of false flag conspiracy theories people have about September 11 that you know the American government organized September 11 in order to um, justify invading Iraq and Afghanistan or whatever um, which is actually exactly what happens here the, we're kind of performing a terrorist attack on the Russians as Russians to justify a Russian started war um, which is a very weird I don't know, video games always like to buy into super right-wing conservative theories because they make good military theme stories, essentially. So I don't really see that critiqued at all, but it just kind of picked up. But in the super pulpy military-themed action movie kind of genre that is modern warfare, you know, it works and it's in the context of the narrative across this game of the next game is a really important point. And instead of being just kind of watching it in a cutscene or just hearing about it on a loading screen, you're forced to be here and you're forced to be part of it. So later throughout the games, while you're constantly remembering that it all comes back to this point, you actually remember being here as a different character when it happened. Yeah, that guy's got a shield of steel. Thirty seconds, go. Well, the best part of his level, so you've got the massacre, which is quite up um, graphic and affronting in itself. But the level kind of evolves well and um this way, let's go. It has a really great ending, I think, um, for what it is. So, you know, you've done this, you know, Alan's become a terrible person, you know, he's lost part of himself, but now, you know, hopefully now he'll get close to Makarov, and in the future he'll probably get his revenge, you know, he'll have his chance to destroy Makarov for what he made him do. We've sent a strong message with this attack, Makarov. That was no message. <laughs> This is a message. And then suddenly he kills you. The American thought he could deceive us. When they find that body, all of Russia will cry for war. And so in that kind of final moment where the police find your body as an American after no Russian was spoken throughout the whole terrorist attack, it suddenly becomes clear that this terrorist attack on Russian soil is only going to work if they can blame the Americans for it. 
which is exactly what they were able to do purely because a player as Allen was there. This massacre go unanswered. Um, it's gonna get bloody. Too right, mate. And now in the eyes of the world, they're the victims. No one's gonna say a word when the Russians club every American they can. So suddenly the Russians are the Americans are the bad guys and now he's left thousands. It's our fault for being there because Shepard told us to be there. We're the only ones who know it was Makarov's up. Our credibility died with Allen. We need proof. Follow the shell. So a desperate so Alan's dead. Uh, he had two levels. He had his kind of opening moment where we got introduced to him as just a soldier in Afghanistan. Then he had his moment to shine, he sacrificed, you know, his humanity or whatever and to be part of a massacre because he thought he had to do it. And then he just gets killed. So I think it's a I don't know, I like that twist at the end of that level where you do it, you're alright, I guess I have to do this and then it was all for nothing. Um, I think it's a really nice setup to, you know, that kind of end of Act One kind of everything's messed up now, and forcing the player to be there to see it and to be part of it. Um, for all people wanting to complain about these games, not giving the player any choice or not being very interactive or whatever, you're always there and you're always part of what's happening, apart from the loading screens. And I think that's a really interesting thing the way they figure out how to do that. Um, so really that's probably all there is to say on no Russian at the moment. It's going to return time and time again throughout the next two games. And the very last level of Modern Warfare 3 is a very clear, almost kind of revenge moment playing off no Russian. Um, but we'll get to that in a f quite a few fit number of episodes. Um, but for now that was no Russian and we'll see where it goes from here in when we go to Brazil in what is arguably probably the worst levels in any of these games, but we'll get to that in the next episode. Bye.